Hi, Freedom House Dayton. What a beautiful day. Doesn't it feel so good to have the sun on us after all that rain? Uh, we are going to be meeting this Saturday at 6 o'clock at the Dayton Christian Church because it's supposed to rain on Sunday. We were going to be in the park, but we will get back in the park soon, uh, just as soon as the nice weather hits again. But uh, Freedom House, I just want to talk to you today about how we can get caught in a mindset, a negative mindset that we think about over and over or it just becomes a pattern in our life. I remember as just a young woman uh, having this mindset, I, I would say, oh, well, that's just my luck. And then one day I read a devotion that really changed my life. And this devotion said that as Christ followers, we do not have luck. Uh, we are blessed. We are under the blessing of God. And we go to Him and we look to Him for help. It's not whether we have good luck or bad luck. We live under blessing. So we can get kind of caught in that pattern of thinking the worst case scenario that something bad is going to happen. We keep thinking about the bad all the time and we miss out on all the good that God has done in our lives and all the blessing. Uh, for so much of my life, I've lived such a blessed life. Uh, and then uh, at 54 years old, I got that worst case scenario. I was told that I had breast cancer. I uh, went through breast cancer, had five years uh, of recovery, and uh, just no, not worrying about any cancer. And then they told me that the cancer had come back. Another worst case scenario. But what I have found is that even in the things that we fear the most, God is still with us. And that God can take the most horrible situation in our life and He can turn it around for good. Uh, I'm really living proof on that, that, that God uh, helped me find another diagnosis and I've, I'm alive and well and I, I've experienced God's healing. And so, so much better than just living in the worst case scenario, always living for like the shoe to drop instead of really living our lives that, that we are thinking about the blessing of the Lord, that we're living under his hand and knowing that we are loved by him. I love this verse in, in Jeremiah 17, seven through eight. It says, but blessed are those who trust in the Lord and they have made the Lord their hope and confidence. They are like trees planted along a river bank with roots that reach deep into the water. Such trees are not bothered by the heat or worried by long months of drought. Their leaves stay green and they never stop producing fruit. When we know the Lord as our Savior, everything changes for us. Our whole life changes. And the enemy may come against us and the enemy may say, oh, the worst has happened to you. But God comes along and says, no, the best has happened to you because you know me and you are under my hand of blessing. It's really how we look at it, Freedom House, and how we see it and how we begin to destroy those old patterns of thinking that are just so negative. And we start looking at the way that God sees things in life and we begin to think positively that we don't have good or bad luck, that we live under the blessing of God. God has got you, Freedom House, and he's got this situation that you're going, to, you're going through right now, and his blessing is upon you. Have a great day.